This is the VOA Special English Education Report. College enrollment has reached an all-time high in the United States. About 40% of all 18 to 24-year-olds, or almost 11 and a half million, were in school in October of last year. A new report says both numbers are record highs. Richard Fry at the Pew Research Center points to a number of reasons. He says the number of young adults who have finished high school is also now at a record all-time high. Almost 85 percent of America's young adults have finished high school. Another reason for the enrollment increase, the recession. The unemployment rate reached a 26-year high in October. The economic downturn has hit young adults especially hard. Richard Fry says their job holding rate is almost at the lowest point in nearly 50 years. In a poor job market, Many people turn to higher education, especially at two-year colleges. These schools, known as community colleges, have had the greatest enrollment increase. They offer professional training and cost a lot less than programs at four-year programs. But experts say the recession has not cut enrollment in four-year programs, even with their higher costs. The Chronicle of Higher Education says at least 58 private colleges now charge $50,000 or more a year. Lately, there have been accusations that some private competitive liberal arts colleges are trying to avoid being seen as too female. Critics say that as a result, these schools are discriminating against women and admitting less qualified men. In August, the United States Commission on Civil Rights opened an investigation. Spokeswoman Lenore Ostrowski says the purpose is to identify if discrimination is taking place in schools. But she adds that there may be lots of reasons why more women apply to colleges and why colleges admit more women. The Census Bureau says 54% of full-time students at two- and four-year colleges last year were female. Federal law bars sex discrimination at any school that receives federal money. Most schools do in one way or another. However, the law does not bar sex discrimination in admissions at private undergraduate schools, only public ones. The Commission does not have enforcement powers but it can suggest changes in the law. A report could take six months to a year. And that's the VOA Special English Education Report.